Indiref 2 threatens UK's economic strength. Due to its 300-year symbiotic relationship with the UK, Scotland could profoundly damage the rest of the UK should it move ahead with Indiref 2 and become independent. Richard Tice said, there are all sorts of discussions about whether or not it's right to have a referendum and what the Scots may vote. And I'm thinking, well, hang on, folks. There are another 62 million people in the United Kingdom. And we've all been together for a while, in fact, over 300 years. And there's not enough chat about what's the impact on the rest of us of Scotland bailing out. Because let me tell you, that impact would make Brexit look like a walk in the park. It really, really would because over 300 years, we've become so intertwined. Drawing an analogy between the UK and a human body, Mr. Tice said, every sinew, if you imagine a human body, it's like all the muscles that go everywhere, the sinews, the veins, the vessels, the muscles, the bones going through the body. If you chop off a limb of that body, it's going to hurt the limb, Richard Tice said. But it's also crucially going to hurt the rest of the body. And that's how we should look at this for the whole issue of Scottish independence. And it seems to me that we should perhaps take a lesson out of those who wanted a second vote after the negotiations of the withdrawal agreement. You remember those folks, the people of the People's Vote crowd who said, well, we didn't what we were voting for. So having negotiated the withdrawal agreement, then let's have another vote, shall we? So, surely the lesson to learn from this is let's negotiate the withdrawal agreement of Scotland from the rest of the United Kingdom before the vote. And then everyone knows what they are voting for without any doubt whatsoever.